Hello YouTube and welcome to your I think third Java for Dummies tutorial and this tutorial you're going to be getting familiar with your Java compiler uh, which is what I showed you to download in the previous tutorial and if you haven't done that then go ahead and check out that tutorial so let's go ahead and get started go ahead and open up Eclipse and um, it'll load up for the first time and it'll ask you what you want your workspace to be just use the default one so um let's go ahead and um, go over some of the things in Eclipse so up here at the top of, on our menu bar you got file so here's where you can create a new Java project new project and anything you need to make your Java programs uh, you can open a file uh, that you if let's say you don't have it down in here you can open a file close close all you know most of this is um, self-explanatory um, you can export your program as a jar file which is pretty much the equivalent of an exe and an o-run um, and that's pretty much all you need to know about in file uh, edit run we probably won't be using this anything up here most of the time because um, everything we need is up here and all around inside of there so um ignoring all these bars up here if we do use them later on then I'll show you um, what to do so down here it's the same thing as under file new to uh, you can create anything you want you can save you can print and this might look a little different than yours because my resolution is kinda messed up but um whatever uh, you won't be needing these two uh, this you can use to switch between classes that you have open uh, we'll go over classes and all of the Java um, terms in the next tutorial. Uh, you won't have any of these four. This is my um, Android SDK for making apps for Android. Um, these three right here. And debug. Well, debug runs your program and debugs it. Run runs it too. Um, most of the time when you're making an app, it doesn't matter which one of these you choose to run it. Um, it'll still run. Um, this you can run the last tool we're not going to be using that very much at all um, you can create a new Java project right here new package new class uh, we won't be using any of these um, but if you want to know what they are just go ahead and play around with them uh, don't need anything up here and make sure that you have Java selected and not Java EE so over here on the left side you can see your package let's see package explorer so under your package explorer you can see all of your projects that you've made and you can go through them um, you can drop them down and you can um, open up your job your class files so that you can edit them and this is these are just all the projects from your workspace and the hierarchy we're not going to be using that so no need to know what that is for now um, here's your problems your problems are going to be your best friend um, so when you're debugging your program if you get any errors then it will it will tell you down here and it'll tell you to to fix them so you can know what to fix and where to find it and um, one thing that you want to do if you notice I have line numbers right here um, you probably don't have that so to do that go ahead and go to window preferences go down to general drop that down editors drop that down and just click on editors and go to text editors and open up text editors just this panel right here and show line numbers make sure that's checked if it's not check it then press ok and uh, it should show your line numbers and moving on down here you've got the Java doc we're not going to be using that very much at all declaration we're not going to be using that and the console now here's where your program is going to run um, it's going to show you what's going on now later on probably a long ways off we're going to be getting into swing which is what Java uses to make um, to make GUIs graphical user interface which is like a window and stuff but for now we're just going to be making applications in the console so here you can see an application con in the console and um, what is your name Sam and I press enter it says hello Sam so um, over here uh, if your program is having troubles and there's or there's an error or something or you it won't stop then you can terminate it right here 
Um, you can remove the remove launch, remove all terminated launches. We won't be using that very much. You can clear the console, which is helpful when you want to start over from scratch. Um, show console when standard error changes. Show console when standard out changes. We're not going to be using that very much. Uh, pin console, which you can just move it away from there. Um, display selected console and open console. So problems in console are going to be the main things that we use uh, down here in this bottom bar. Now over here you can see the task list. We won't be using that for a while. But down here, the outline is going to help you a lot. Um, it shows you everything that you've imported. Um, and if you don't know what that means, that's perfectly fine. We're going to go into it in the next tutorial, maybe the tutorial after. But it shows you everything you've imported. It shows the class that you have open. It shows all of your methods and variables that you have declared inside of that class. So um, this is going to be really helpful. Uh, like let's say you're going to use a variable later on in your code and you don't exactly remember what it was called. You can just look down and look down over here on your outline and it will be right there for you so you can see what it is. So um, and then the most important thing in our Java compiler is this main window right here. Now this is where our our class files will be open. Um, class files are just the .java files and um, this is where you're going to be typing all of your code and um, you know doing pretty much everything that you're going to do to make your Java program. So um, go ahead you can go play around with Eclipse, get familiar with it and then once you're familiar with it then move on to the next tutorial. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.